My name is Barbara Renner, and I'm the author of three picture books about Quincy the Quail. The first one is called Quincy the Quail and the Mysterious Egg. The second one is called Quincy the Quail Leads His Family on an Adventure. And the third book is called Quincy the Quail Saves a Life. Now let me tell you a little bit about Quincy. Quincy is known as a Gamble's Quail and he lives in the Sonoran Desert. And if you look around, that's where I am. I'm sitting in the middle of the Sonoran Desert, or maybe not quite in the middle, but you can see the saguaro cactus and the, uh, the Palo Verde trees, and those are uh, things that grow in the Sonoran Desert. Well, Quincy also lives in the Sonoran Desert. Now, this is a little quail that looks like Quincy, but this is known as the California quail. Quincy is a little bit different. He's got a little more color on him, and his, his neck is a little longer. But I wanted to point out this tufts of feathers. There's some feathers that grow on the top of their heads, and they're call, it's called a top knot. And Quincy's top knot is a little bit long, so sometimes it flops in front of his eyes, and he has to go to blow it out of his eyes. Now quail make a very distinctive sound when they call, so I'm going to squeeze this. And that's what a quail sounds like. So I'm going to set the little California quail there, and we're going to read this book called Quincy the Quail Saves a Life. Quincy the quail and his family live under a mesquite bush in the desert. Quincy's friend, a great horned owl, sits on top of a cactus guarding their house, their home. Quincy stretches his wings. Good morning, Mr. Owl. Hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo, greets Mr. Owl. Quincy's mate, Quella, fluffs her feathers. It's going to be a beautiful day. Together they call their chicks for a family meeting. Roll call. So you'll notice these two black squares on this page. Those are called QR codes. And using an app on your phone, you can actually hear the calls of the animals. So the first one I'm going to play is the great horned owl hoot. And I hope that you can hear it. <coughs> so the great horned owl has a very distinctive hoot. And the next square, I'm going to have you listen to a gamble's quail call. hear some as I read the book because I saw a little covey of quail running around. The chicks tear around a bush and skid to a stop in front of Quincy. Whoa! Quincy loses his balance and blows the top knot out of his eyes. Quincy announces, today we are going to hunt for food in a new neighborhood. Mr. Owl hoots. Beware of other birds and animals protecting their territory. Let's go. Quincy scurries ahead, leading the way. They leave their desert home and scamper over rock lawns between big houses. The family hops on a brick wall overlooking a yard and a swimming pool. Look at all the pretty flowers. 
the chicks squeal. Quincy grins. We'll find lots of seeds and insects for lunch. Watch out for other birds who call this yard their home, Quella warns. Quincy trips on a wall block. The kids bump into him and into each other. He tumbles into a honeysuckle bush. Oh no, his chicks cry. We'll help you, Daddy. Two chicks tug on Quincy as everyone else hops off the wall. Phew, thanks kids, I'm okay. Quincy blows the top knot out of his eyes. Suddenly, two hummingbirds rise out of the flowers, buzzing at each other as they fly. They fly up and buzz, they fly down and buzz. One hummingbird soars over the wall. The other one faces Quincy and yells, get out of my yard. He turns and flies towards the chicks, poking at their feathers. Daddy, make him stop, yell the chicks. Nobody bullies my family, squawks Quincy. He spreads his wings and puffs up his feathers to make himself look really big. The surprised hummingbird zips away. He bangs into a glass window and falls on the porch. The chicks surround the hummingbird. Is he dead? One chick asks. He's not moving, another trick chick sobs. Quincy, what should we do? Quella flaps her wings. Quincy responds, don't worry, I'll think of something. Quincy paces back and forth, almost falling into the swimming pool. Aha! He dips his beak into the pool, sucks water in his mouth, and dribbles the water into the hummingbird's beak. Quincy runs back and forth and back and forth, bringing the hummingbird water. The hummingbird blinks his eyes open. Startled, he flies across the pool and hovers on the, over the honeysuckle bush. Hmm, what just happened? He buzzes back to the porch and faces the chicks. I'm sorry I hurt you. I was just protecting my flowers. You scared me. He turns to Quincy. Thank you for saving my life. Quincy blows the top knot out of his eyes. You're welcome. I'm glad you're not hurt. Waving goodbye, the hummingbird darts away and disappears over the wall. Quincy and Quella and his family quickly collect their lunch and hurry back to the desert. Nuzzling their chicks, Quincy and Quella are glad to be back home under their mesquite bush. They all chatter a happy song. Perched on top of the cactus, Mr. Owl nods his head approvingly. Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. And this little square is a covey of quail chattering. So let's listen to that. someday. So thank you very much for listening to my story.